All praises due to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakakodash. Double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to Allah Akim doing and pushing his word, and all honesty, truth, and sincerity. Shalom Akim. Now you see this video here? Teen shot multiple times while taking out trash. Wow. 14 year old boy shot while walking out the trash. Investigators with the Harris County Sheriff's Office still trying to figure out who pulled the trigger and whether that teen was in fact targeted. Brianna Connor joins us live from Katie. And how is this young boy doing tonight, Brianna? Gina, no word on his condition currently, but at last check, he was undergoing surgery at Memorial Herman downtown. Investigators with the Harris County Sheriff's Office here in Katy tell me they don't have a lot of leads and neighbors I talked to say that's concerning for them. I want to share now with you some video that they showed me. Look, he got shot. Put my headphones here. That ain't no key. You can hear in their voices how shocked they were because the victim is a 14 year old boy. The video shows him being taken on a stretcher from the spot where he collapsed on Dunbar Park Lane. Investigators with the Harris County Sheriff's Office say someone shot him in the leg just 31 seconds after he walked out to the trash around 515 at a home around the corner. The Sky Eye video shows that scene near the intersection of River Knoll and Bear Meadow Lanes. Investigators say they found two shell casings, but aside from that, they don't have a lot to go on. They say no one has come forward as a witness, but they did spend a few hours this evening looking for surveillance video and talking with neighbors. Two women who live in that area and have teenage sons tell me their hearts go out to this 14 year old and his family. Their voices, how shocked they were. He was a kid. You can hear in their voices how shocked they were. Yeah, the scriptures already tell us about these things, you know. It's in the times, man. Things like this and much more things are going to come to pass. Now, let me turn off my, uh, you know, these people in spirit. People, you know, <laughs> all of a sudden you're making a video and boom. Messages, phone calls, this, that. No, no, sir. But anyways, um. Uh, let me see. Well, you could start from one actually, but let's start from three. Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things, these things be? And what shall be? The sign of thy coming and of and of the end of the world okay um scriptures clearly tell you that let me see is it here no it's not okay, let me go on. that's another script that's another video i'm working on there too second ezra chapter six and nine for esau is the end of the world and jacob is the beginning the beginning of it that followeth, okay? And that's going to be our world, the world without end. As a matter of fact, I think that's in um, Isaiah 44. Let me see something real quick. See something real quick. Slack yakin. Isaiah 45, I think. Let me see. No, it's not here. Hold on a second. Let me find this scripture, Aki. I have to find this. Sixteen, yeah. Isaiah forty five and verse seventeen. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. With an everlasting salvation, he shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. So our world is going to be a world without end. Okay, a continuous reign, right? But these things that the Lord, you know, said shall come to pass, shall come to pass. Okay, and we know that because many scriptures, you know, tell you put your trust in the Lord because when He says something. Or when he has something determined, that's it. 
it's gonna happen you know uh, uh, Psalms chapter 47 and verse 15 he sendeth forth his commandment upon earth his word runneth very swiftly okay nothing hindereth nothing can stop it nothing can push out the way you know let's go back on to this scripture here and Yahweh Shai answered and said on, unto them take heed that no man deceive you for many shall come in my name saying I am Hamashiach and shall deceive many and ye shall hear of wars and rumor of wars see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not okay so you're gonna have a lot of these uh, we've seen it over the years with a lot of these war talks okay a lot of these war talks a lot of these other men step up and uh, uh what was that guy's name the the god sent comforter comfy you know people like that are gonna pop up in the end too as well you know claiming that <laughs> claiming that they are the one that they are the blessed one you know a lot of these people gonna claim that hey I, I am God. <laughs> There's an other individual out there that was saying that, but um, a lot of these whack jobs go cover the last days of times, man. And a lot of these things, like, well, actually, all these things that the Lord has said shall come to pass, okay? But the end is not yet, okay? For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places okay and you've seen all these kingdoms come against other kingdoms okay you're seeing all these uh famines happening in various parts of the world okay you got the euphrates drying up okay various other places in texas and stuff you know the lakes are drying up the food prices are through the roof people can't uh, afford food the wheat is not being produced because guess what People are burning down fucking food factories. So yes, there's famines. It may be in pockets, but watch. This whole thing shall come past the world. Okay? And what? Earthquakes in diverse places. We've been seeing that a lot. Okay? Earthquakes up here. Earthquakes in places that they never really get earthquakes. Okay? All these are the beginning of sorrows. Right? And that's what we keep telling um. You know, these individuals out here, this is just a mist of Jacob's trouble, man. You know, that's why Daniel's chapter 12 and 1 um, says what it says when Michael is going to get so bad out here that Michael the archangel is going to have to step up, <laughs> you know. And another thing, too, uh, it's like uh, Jeremiah chapter 37, if I'm not mistaken. And a lot of individuals, they push this off, you know. But let's get straight to the point. Because this is the point that I want to hear from this video. Where this teen was shot in the leg, okay. That's why the scriptures say, measure thou the time diligently within itself. Okay. Um, Matthew chapter 24 and verse 11. And many false prophets shall arise. And shall deceive many. We're seeing that happening with all these different guys coming out. Saying that the Most High talked to them. They are the Most High. You should follow me because God's only dealing with me. You know. A lot of people coming in the name of Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai too. They're trying to pull the wool over people's eyes. Trying to pull the trick over people's eyes. You know. Distorting scriptures. Trying to cause a discourse. Or. Yeah. Trying to cause. Um. What's the word? Schisms, you know, in the body, right? And the spies and agents. Uh, so continue, verse 12. Because, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, okay? But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved, okay? And verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world, or you can mean a sense, for a witness unto all nations, and and then shall the end come. And that's the point that I want to get across too, because <clears throat> when the disciples asked, 
you know, hey, well, well, how are we going to know what's going on, Salakia? How are we going to know? How are we going to uh, know these things? How are we going to know what shall be to us the knowing of these things, the signs, the tokens, right? So, right now, throughout the whole world, Oikamina, okay, Oikamina, this word is being preached, okay? So that's how we know, seeing all those things, the earthquakes in diverse places, the brothers over the whole world pushing the same doctrine, okay? And various uh, events like, you know, going back to uh, this video here, the love of many shall wax gold, you know? But anyways, I just wanted to get that real quick, you know? These things are uh, happening because we're in the last days, man. Okay, so anyways, with that, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Bahashem, Rakah Kodash. Double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to all the Akim doing and pushing this word. Now, honesty, truth, and sincerity. Shalom, Akim. Wa Abad Babala.